Okay, y'all, we're going to start um, like laying down on our bellies. Like that. It's like Jill. <laughs> press your feet into the floor to lift your hips up to the sky. So press feet into the floor, lift your hips up off the mat just slightly. Tuck your tailbone under and then drop your hips back down to the floor. Really nice, deep breath in, and big breath out. Just feeling your heartbeat against the floor. Feeling your breath and the gentle rise that it brings to your body. And as you exhale, can you just let yourself soften down into the floor? Notice if you're already starting to grip or start to work unconsciously just from anticipation. Can you just allow yourself to be still here and now? And you follow the simplicity of your breath. It's your only priority is to witness and observe as it moves in through your nose and as it leaves. Just really start to pay attention. Where does your mind go when you are still? Can you stay here or do you escape elsewhere? Start to scan your way mentally, combing your way through your body, starting at your feet. Just as you start to touch each part of your body with your awareness, can you ask it and allow it to soften? Add one ear down to the floor, switch your ears. If your forehead is down, keep it where it is. to your breath, full inhales, complete exhales. And notice that usually when the mind starts to pull you elsewhere, it also takes your breath with it. So our breath, not only like an indicator of this moment, or a teacher for us in each posture, allowing us, giving us the information when we have space, when we're pushing us too far. But it's your reminder to be here fully. inhale you just try to become hyper aware of all the little intricacies both within you and around you that will likely only line up in this particular order in this particular way right now a special accumulation of happenings each of you in this room this week All the layers of sound, all the smells, the temperatures, and not just the uh, conditions of the external atmosphere, but also your inner atmosphere. You'll never be the same as you are right here, right now.
and just be with your breath. Every time you catch yourself up in the realm of the mind, the internal chatter, it's inevitable. We're conscious thinking beings and we will be until the day we leave this planet. But when you catch yourself, can you direct yourself back to your body or back to this moment, something internal or external that anchors you here fully? right arm out beside you slowly to two o'clock. Take your right ear down to the floor. And the left hand underneath your shoulder. If you like, you can grab a block. Use it as a pillow. And then slowly rolling over onto your, uh, yeah, you know, left foot to the floor behind you. Wake up those right fingers, press them down into the floor. Sending your breath right to the center of your chest. Inhale to expand your heart. Exhale to let the shoulder blades slide closer together. Giving your breath a little more intention, a little more purpose. Ujjayi, in through your nose, out of your nose, with a small constriction at the back of your throat. So you can really take your time to pull the breath into the lungs and to empty the lungs. yourself to be soft. slowly come back to your belly keep your arms exactly as they are so the left hand stays underneath the left shoulder tuck your left toes under float your left knee up off the mat and then float your right toes up just a few inches yes so from here you're gonna roll over onto your left hip bring your right toes to the floor behind you and turn the front of the right hip bone up towards the sky so the bottom leg is straight, you're rolling onto that left hip, and you're rolling the front of the right hip bone open to the sky. So Jill, be careful with this one. This one's gonna be like right in that spot. Mm -hmm. So try to turn your kneecap up to the sky, the right one. Good, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, press the front of the right shoulder down into the floor. So this is like an oppositional stretch here. You're rolling the front of the right hip bone open, as you press your right shoulder down into the floor. You got it. So you're going to roll into the sky to the side, right? Go up to the floor. Press your foot. Good. Breathe in. As you exhale, press this one down. Oh, that's the one. Be 
should feel this stretch in the low back lumbar spine. So open up this hip, keep it nice, deep inhale, but close the shoulder at the same time. Come back to your belly, give your hips a little shimmy shake side to side, <clears throat> and then switch your arms. Bring the right hand in, open up the left, roll open onto the left. Right foot to the floor behind you. Maybe head to a block, use it as a pillow, keep the head elevated. And just sending your breath to the center of your chest as you inhale letting your shoulder blades slide together as you exhale. And even here, just noticing the subtle differences, observing the differences between right side and left side. The dominant and non-dominant arm. Can you dial in and really, really pay attention? Don't worry about it, let it go. into the center of your chest. Exhale to let the shoulder blades slide. Slowly, slowly, come back into center. Keep your arms as they are. You're going to tuck your right toes under. Float your right knee up off the mat. And then roll over onto your right hip. So the side of the right leg, you're bringing your left toes the other way, good, yeah. So try to turn your kneecap up to the sky. The front of the left hip bone opens. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're pressing the front of the left shoulder down into the floor. You're creating this opposition. No, you're good, keep going. Turn your knee to the sky even more, left foot to the floor. You feel it? Keep using that exhale to press the front, uh, front of the left shoulder down as you open up left side hip bone. Deep low back stretch. Breath in. Big breath. Slowly, slowly roll back into center. Give your hips a little shimmy shake, shy to shy. <laughs> Rocking up the hips, you can bend your knees. Take 
keep your hands nice and wide. Fingertips underneath your elbows, forehead to floor. Feet stay as wide as your mat. As you inhale, press into the fingertips to wrap the shoulder blades to kiss around your spine. Pull the belly button to your spine. And with your inhale, slowly start to rise, keeping the shoulder blades together, the head heavy. Lifting up slow. As you exhale, press the shoulder blades down. And again, inhale to lift, pressing up. And release. Again, inhale to come up. to snake down to the floor. So it's like you're doing figure eights with the shoulders. You can move the torso side to side. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. And then we slowly come back up, weaving, getting into shoulders. Close your eyes. Don't be worried about what anybody else is doing. Just feel your own body. And then go back down towards the floor. One more time. Inhale. We'll weave up. Slowly coming all the way to the top. When you get there, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press the shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, we lift. This time, as you exhale, dip your right shoulder all the way down. Turn your chin all the way up to the left as much as you can. Inhale, press through the fingertips. Come back up through center. Your eyes will be the very last thing to arrive. As you exhale, dip the left shoulder down. Crank your chin up to the right. Inhale, we lift back up through center. Exhale. Press your way up onto, oh, actually, hands right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. You press back. Child pose. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. When you're ready, lift up your torso, walk both hands over towards the right. Walk the left fingertips a little bit further forward so you create as much length as you can between your left middle finger and left hip bone. Keep your hands glued on the floor, pull the rib cage towards the left. Press your hips towards the left heel, roll the left shoulder down and away. Switch sides, walk over towards your left, right fingertips reach a little bit further forward. Are you here fully? How much attention can you give to slowing down?
slowly come back into center. Lift the heels of your hands this time. So you're making like little homes underneath your hands. Good. Lift your hips two inches off your heels. Walk your fingers a little bit further forward. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull the hips back to the heels and wrap your elbows down to the floor. Fingers run up and away as the shoulder blades draw down your back in opposition. As you inhale, lift your hips off your heels, round and curl. Hands come flat to the floor. Open up your toes in line with your knees, so keeping the knees wide. Maybe hands a little bit further forward in front of the shoulders. As you inhale, let the belly drop down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift up, and take a little rock through, rock forward. As you exhale, press back, round and curl. Squeeze the back of your legs, tailbone under. Press away from the hands, spine high, belly hollow. Keep squeezing, keep running towards it. Inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift. A little rock through, a little lean in. Exhale, press back. Round and curl. Inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift, a little rock through. Think about reaching your lower ribs away from your hip bones. Can you separate them more? Stretching your belly. Exhale, press back, round and curl. Keeping the spine rounded, squeeze right shoulder towards right hip. Stretching the left side of the spine, keep pressing up and out of the floor. Switch left shoulder towards left hip. Round your spine, hollow the belly, press up and out of the ground, so still cat spine. Slowly come back in through center, inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift up. As you exhale, we lean forward, chin, chest, throat comes down to the mat. Shoulder tips meet fingertips, tailbone rolls high. So let your heart melt heavy into the floor, into your mat. Relax your arms for a second. So you feel the full weight of your heart fall heavy into the floor. Start to grip the mat with your fingertips like a cat. Elbows squeeze in and press back. Each exhale, belly pulls closer to spine and tailbone rolls higher to the sky. Heart melts heavier into the floor. If you want more sensation, knees come closer. If you need less, knees go back. Active connection with the floor through your fingers, your toes. Mm -hmm. 